Hi, I'm Greg Shillette. Thank you, Marin. That was fantastic. Um, thank you guys for inviting me. Hope you don't mind if I read the postscript to a recent book that I completed just before the election, and then I insisted that the postscript be added right afterwards. Um, postscript. The delirium and crisis of capitalism as well as of art is now the delirium and crisis of liberal democracy. From India and Turkey to the Philippines and the Gulf region, from Hungary to Austria and France, from the US and UK, and Latin, parts of Latin America, both developed and developing nations are equally affect, afflicted with a global contagion of nationalist and authoritarian sentiment, grounded in fear, hatred, and above all, pessimism about any governmental promise to provide a stable and secure future. Neoliberalism's postponement of crisis through consumer credit expansion has run its course. In its place, we find a narrative invoking wealthy male leadership military capacity, and warnings of retribution towards one's perceived competitors, be they other militarized states, or failed states, or homeless refugees, migrant workers, or even one's own surplus populace. As Cornell West put it immediately after the election, quote, the neoliberal era in the United States has ended with a neo-fascist bang, end quote. On the positive side, the rascals, previously hiding in the bushes, are no uh, are no longer in need of camouflage. The stakes have become that much clearer and that much more urgent. At this moment, culture cannot serve as a salve for nervous souls. Art's, art's particular license to speak up, to misbehave, to mock and imitate reality, to be dangerous, as Mariam said, to blur genres and disciplines, this freedom, as long as it lasts, must be deployed to prevent the normalization of the emerging authoritarian paradigm. And if it is blocked, it must then move underground to continue its mission by retrieving its status as dark matter or what Moton and Harney call the undercommons. This is also the greatest challenge that activist artists must come to terms with. How to invent or how to reinvent a partisan art praxis now that neoliberal capitalism has become a dead weight and its social and political forms are imploding. Whether or not the coming battlefield where these conflicted notions of history, politics, and aesthetics clash might also give birth to its own generation of chroniclers, depictors, poets, painters, and archivists is an intriguing question. In the meantime, in the meantime, what is called for is a grammar of cultural dissent that does not turn innocently away from the chaotic and delirious state of contemporary social realities or the contradictions of, bare, of a bare art world but recognizes the moment and the confrontation that arises immediately before us as ultimately historical in nature. And therefore, also a time and a conflict that will one day be displaced as all such moments are. For now, however, our obligation is clear. We must make certain that any future archive reclaims the ghostly presence not only of this, our current conflict, but also preceding struggles, no matter how dark or how difficult to visualize, and no matter, how, no matter how epically every day they may seem in outer appearance. And if you don't mind, I'd just like to end with a quote from the first part of the novel, Aesthetics of Resistance, by Peter Weiss. And it's um, basically the protagonist of the novel is an anti-fascist underground um, comrade. And he's in the Berlin Museum, where the Pergamon altarpiece is, the famous battle, the Greek battle between the gods and the titans. And he's looking at this, and he's thinking about the struggle with uh, the, the social, uh, National Socialist Party. And he says this. This is the first sentence. All around us, the bodies rose out of the stone, crowded into groups, intertwined or shattered into fragments, hinting at their shapes with a torso, a propped up arm, a burst hip, a scab shard, always in warlike gestures, dodging, rebounding, attacking, shielding themselves, stretched high or crooked, some of them snuffed out with freestanding, forward pressing foot, twisted back, the contour of a, a calf harnessed into a single common notion. Solidarity, thank you.